My name is Worshipful Past Master Corey M. Mosley Sr. And I currently serve as the Worshipful Master of Kerry Wheaton Lodge number 307. I'm honored that this is my third time serving in this historic lodge as Worshipful Master. My journey into masonry started when I was in college, actually, with my interest, I should say. I played as a fraternity, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, and I always wanted to go back to the origin of where these fraternal organizations started. And I was always told that it started with the Freemasons. So after I finished with college and I began working, I touched base with someone that I knew that was a part of this organization and just inquired. I knocked on the door of knowledge of someone that I respected and that I knew, and the journey started from there. I've currently been a member of this lodge for 18 years. And I can say, since I came into Kerry Wheaton, um, I became very active. Within a few years of me being raised to the sublime degree of a Master Mason, I also advanced to the Holy Royal Arch in Richmond Chapter Number 7, Holy Royal Arch Masons, where I am a past high priest. I then went to Richmond Council Number 4, Royal and Select Masters, where I'm a past thrice illustrious master. After that, I advanced to Mount Olivet Commandery Number 2, of the Knights Templar, where I'm a past eminent commander. On the Scottish right side, I became a sublime prince of the Royal Secret of Richmond Consistory number 22. I'm also a noble of Mocha Temple number seven, ancient Egyptian Arabic order nobles of the mystic shrine. And finally, I'm a member of one of, I think in my opinion, one of the most prestigious honors you can have in Masonry because it marks your service to the organization. And there's Virginia Priory number eight, Knights of the York Cross of Honor. And I listed all of those organizations because it has afforded me the opportunity to meet, fellowship, network with various brothers in various capacities throughout this jurisdiction. Being a Prince Hall Mason, I can honestly say it's a great honor. It means that I'm a part of a brotherhood, an international brotherhood that stretches to the four corners of the earth. It means that I can attain knowledge. This organization is built on service to your various communities. I mean, you are surrounded by brothers from all walks of life. But when we walk into this large room, we're all on the level. All titles are erased. We're all one. And we're all working towards one common goal. And that is brotherhood and service to our fellow man. Our ultimate goal is to take the good men in this world and make them into better men. That's what we strive to do. And we do that in the process of their orientation into our various degrees from an entered apprentice, fellow craft, and master mason. You are taught lessons about life, moral lessons, that can make you a better upright man, a family man. That's our ultimate goal. And that's what it means to me to be a part of something so special. And I'm honored to be a part of this great ancient and honorable institution. One of the special things about Kerry Wheaton Lodge number 307, we are a very small, Rural Lodge in Mechanicsville, Virginia. When I came into this lodge, there was a faithful few that has worked for years to keep this lodge functioning and doing the things we need to do within this community. It means the world to me to be a part of this group of brothers and to be able to serve our community and to be able to work side by side with these brothers in various capacities. We, we work hard, we help each other out, we help our fellow man out. We help our communities out. That is our ultimate goal. This is why we have existed since May the 28th, 1949. And for generations to come, we will continue to work hard and do the things that is obligated for us to do within this community.